Hello, I want to tell you about a vision that I was in uh, recently. My name's Ken Bailey, and on Sunday, uh, May 17, 2020, early in the morning, probably around 5.45, 4.45 a.m., the Lord took me into a vision. And uh, I'm going to share that with you uh, here in just a moment. I was in the spirit. The, the I wasn't in a body. Uh, I could go through walls. I could suddenly be somewhere else and the rapture had recently occurred and uh, God took me forward in time in the spirit to let me see part of the earth what he allowed me to see in the vision after the rapture and uh, it, w it was stunning and shocking to see what I saw in the vision so keep in mind I wasn't in a body I was in the spirit I was taken forward in time, but I was made to know that it was soon after the rapture uh, of uh, Christians, true followers of Christ, believers in Christ, had been taken up to heaven, and the seven-year tribulation had begun on the earth. And I want to share what I with you what I was shown uh, on May seventeenth, twenty twenty. So, about four forty-five or so, I'm guessing, in the morning, the vision started. And the first thing I was told in the vision was uh, a scripture was quoted to me by the Lord. And, and the Lord said, you shall have no other gods before me. And then suddenly I looked down at the ground and I saw a single coin. And I went to, to reach for the coin. And then suddenly there were a bunch of coins on the ground. And then I saw a bunch of uh, wads of currency and they, they had a rubber band around them, and I started seeing large piles of paper money with rubber bands around them. And I'm like, there's great wealth here, and I was going to reach down and pick it up. But the Lord told me, don't pick it up, it's of no value now. And I was, I was stunned. A, a, a huge amount of money on the ground, and it was worthless now. And I was told that currency... Uh, was no longer used coins and paper cash were no longer used and that the currency had be had been devalued that so much of it had been given out I was made to know that so much had been given away to people and then now there was a new world system a new government and people no longer use coins or paper money suddenly from there I looked down the street and I turned this direction and in front of me was a, a woman and she was holding a, a, a small baby in her left arm and with her right hand she was holding a toddler and she was walking down the street and I could see her face I was behind her uh, a, a, a maybe 50 feet but I was then I was around in front of her and I could see her face and her face was was lifeless and she had no makeup on and there was no joy she looked like she was in shock of what had happened uh, her husband wasn't with her, and she just seemed to be in shock. She wasn't talking to either her baby in her left arm or her toddler that she was holding with her right hand. She was just walking down the street kind of like in a daze uh, of what had happened. Then from, from there, I was suddenly taken inside a home, and... Uh, I was just inside the home. I went. I didn't go through a door or anything. I was suddenly inside a home, and um, prior to that, I I saw a truck pull up in front of that home. Then I was inside the home. Uh, a man was driving the truck. He got out. A woman uh, got out from the other side, and they walked up to the door. Then I was inside the home, and I was made to know that the, that the people at the front door they didn't go inside. Uh, were from the from the uh, new new uh, one world government. A woman went to the door. I'm like 20 feet behind her now. A woman went to the door and she opened the door and started talking with them and they informed her that uh, in order to stay in the house she was going to have to take the government mark uh, to stay in the home, to be able to buy food. She had no food. She needed food for herself and her children. And uh, to access her bank account, she was going to have to take a mark. And then uh, she was sad. There was no life in her. She was joyless. The two people at the door, the man and the woman, they were just doing their jobs matter-of-factly. They didn't, 
They didn't uh, laugh or interact in a happy way with the woman. They just told her what she was going to have to do. Then suddenly I'm out of the home. I didn't walk through the door or by the woman. I'm, I'm in the spirit. Suddenly I'm out of the home and I'm in a neighborhood. And there I look around the neighborhood and uh, uh, there's nice homes. There's, there's, there, there's curbs. I see no vehicles. There's no cars. There's no trucks. Uh, I see no vehicles at all. And I see no other men. I see no other men in the vision at all except the one government man that was at the front door with the other woman that was with the with the government. I see no other men in the vision. I begin to wonder where are the men? Where are they? Are they are they out fighting in a war? Are they uh, working for the government like that man in their at their jobs? Uh, are they in prison camps? Have they been taken away? But I, I didn't see any other men in the vision. So I, I'm, walk, I'm not walking, but I'm in the spirit in this neighborhood, and I see a beautiful home on my right, and I look at it. And uh, I say to God in my mind, telepathically, God, why is this house empty? I'm made to know it's empty. And the Lord said to me, uh, Ken, it's empty because uh, the people, in order to be in that home, have to take the government mark, and they didn't. They're out on the run. Then suddenly, I'm made to know some things. I'm, I'm told by the Lord that, that there's been a great famine in the land. A, a great famine. And people were hungry. And they've lost their jobs. And I'm told that it's like in the days of Egypt, when in, in our Bibles, where Joseph uh, worked for Pharaoh when he was in control of the land. And uh, there, were the, there was the seven-year famine. And the people, in order to get food, came and they, they sold everything. They, they, they bought food initially with their money. Then they, they sold everything they had. They eventually lost their homes and the land. The government owned everything. Pharaoh, at that time, the world leader, uh, owned everything because Joseph uh, got it for him, uh, acquired everyone's possessions, money, cattle, land, everything, in order to, to give them food for them to eat and stay alive during the seven-year famine. I was told it was the same way on the earth now in the tribulation, that now the government owned all the homes, all the businesses. I was shown main streets in towns, and they were empty. And again, there were no cars in front of them. The government owned all the businesses, all the homes, um, and uh, th there had been a great famine. People were hungry. They had they had sold and traded and given away everything to get food. Then I looked up in the sky and I saw storm clouds on the horizon. They were, it was ominous. I saw gray clouds, uh, uh, like a. Uh, uh, winter and a and a strong uh, storm coming through that was going to dump snow or be a blizzard. I saw uh, lightning and thunderstorms and and black uh, uh, clouds on the horizon and that maybe tornadoes were coming. But the sky was very ominous. Then suddenly I was taken uh, out from there and I was moved in the spirit towards a town. And as I was approaching the town. I saw gray smoke and I was made to know, I wasn't in an earthly body, but I was made to know that I would be choking breathing that air as I got closer to the town. And I started seeing uh, fires and, uh, and the smoke got thicker as I got closer to the town. And uh, then I noticed black ash all on the ground. The town had already burned to the ground. Something had happened. I don't know if it was hit by a missile or meteorites or something that hit it from, from heaven and burned it to the ground, but, but the town was burned and it was just left over smoldering fires, terrible smoke that was choking. I was made to know if I was in a body like other people. I didn't see any people in the town either. It was sad. Then, then I was taken out of there and I was out in the countryside. Again, I didn't walk. I was out in the countryside, and it went black. It went dark. Now, I don't know if it was nighttime. It seemed like it was. Or did the, did the sun go dark? But I was out in the countryside, 
and I looked all around me and started looking. I was, I started turning around and I looked all around me, and it was dark. It was pitch black, and on the horizon I could see fires burning. Fires burning in different places all around me, and I'm like, Lord, what is this? And the Lord made me know that those were cities on the horizon, and they they had all burned to the ground. And again, like the the city that I had been taken to, it was just leftover remnants of of buildings and, and structures that were still burning. And that's what I was seeing. So it was a terrible time. To summarize the vision, uh, money was, coins and cash were worthless. The Lord said to me to begin the vision, you shall have no other gods before me. And I knew he was telling me that these people were left behind. They didn't uh, escape the seven year tribulation. They had to go through it if they lived through it. And that they did have gods before him. They had never received Christ as their Savior. And that's why they were going through the seven year tribulation. And uh, they were experiencing God's wrath and all the, that Satan was doing on the earth. I saw, again, only that one man. There were no other men. There were no other vehicles. The only vehicle I saw was that government vehicle pulled up in front of the house. People, the women that I saw, the children, everyone was no joy. They were in shock. Uh, there was great famine. Uh, again, the government owned everything. Oh, I was made to know later in the video. At first I was told it was the government mark. Uh, you had to take the mark. Then later I was told that the mark was your government ID. You, you had a government ID. And you, you, you had to take the mark to be able to be in, in, in a home, to be able to get food from the government, and to be able to access your bank account because to buy and sell. Because there was no longer coins or cash used uh, on the earth. It was a terrible time. I was so sad. Uh, I, the, I, I was not dreaming. I want to make sure you're, you're well aware that the, the Lord had me intentionally look at the clock at 5.08 a.m. when I was early in the vision. And then when I finished seeing, the, I went back into the vision and I thought maybe about seven minutes went by. To my surprise, after I saw the cities burning the, 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 in the nighttime or the darkness, I saw the cities burning and I looked all around. I came out of the vision after that, and it was 6.19 a.m., and the Lord showed me another hour and eight minutes had gone by when it seemed like just a short amount of time uh, in my mind. So I was probably in the vision at least an hour and a half. Again, it was in the future. The Christians had already been raptured, Christ followers, and it was a terrible time on the earth. I'm not saying it'll be this way everywhere, but this was what I was allowed to see. And uh, I, was, I was sad, I was heartbroken uh, for the people and uh, what they were going through. So that was the vision that I had on uh, May 17th, 2020. Uh, a vision of life on the earth of what I was allowed to see after the rapture of the church.